guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and I'm liking this Gohan, man. I went big time. This is, of course, we're going to rainbow him. I busted out good equips for this Gohan. I, This guy, the way he's designed, he is going to be a killer and difficult content. I gave him the best shit I had. I actually gave Gohan my three additional three gold crit. This Gohan is going to be a unit that is like a must run on pretty much every team. So I, I felt very comfortable maxing out this Gohan. So my Gohan is looking pretty sexy right here. This I am very comfortable and confident in 20 additional 16 crit right there. Uh, this Gohan is going to be a beast. So let me level his links up a bit and we will test out a rainbowed uh, AGL Dokkan Fest. Kid Gohan. All right, guys. So we're here in an event now. I wanted to start out on this team, the Planetary Destruction slash Movie Boss team. I just Gohan being on this team is just a huge, huge like win. Right now, LR Piccolo eventually could get an easy A um, to where he could maybe actually be like a legitimate like option on this Movie Boss slash Planetary Destruction team. I'm more so just bringing him because a lot of these teams, the teams I built for Gohan, I'm not really bringing Piccolo and Krillin units to activate that unit super attack. It's not... Uh, I feel like a lot of times when you're going to be using this Gohan, like Gohan is still really good, but you're definitely not going to be maxing him out by bringing a Piccolo, Krillin, or Heavenly Events category ally. Like, like those two conditions make Gohan a lot better, but I think most of the time you're going to be using him, you're not going to have either of those conditions fulfilled, right? Um, because, like, you know, a lot of the teams you're probably going to be running Gohan on, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku Family, there are no Krillin or Piccolo on there, right? So keep that in mind. All right, so with Turles, Gohan has Fierce Battle and Saiyan Warrior Race. Then with Broly, he uh, also has Saiyan Lineage, which is sick. This is why... Saiyan lineage. I've told people, dude, that Saiyan lineage has become a main key link, man. It really has. Um, and like Gohan working well with Broly is really good. Because again, so they have Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan lineage, and Fierce Battle. It's a lot of attack, but they're also getting key. But then don't forget, Gohan gives the three key and 58% defense to all allies. So like my Int Broly 180k. Like this, these two as a rotation. Like, this is a devastating rotation on the Planetary Destruction team. Gohan and then Broly together. Like, <clears throat> again, de devastating. All right, 2.96. Uh, not really that impressive. I mean, that's Gohan in slot two. So, we didn't get that first um, attack in right away. Um, and that's also Gohan uh, without a Heavenly Events category ally, right? So, like, that... I mean, that's the thing about this Gohan... I feel like the design could be good if a lot of characters are built in this fashion where there's just so many different factors in to like the damage and like the numbers they're going to do, right? I do kind of like that, right? Because again, like there's a huge amount that goes into like what we're going to see from this guy. Um, I think we're probably going to finish off Gogeta right here. I'll, I I think I'm going to miss Super Attacks with Kid Buu and then LR. You know, we'll give LR Piccolo a Super How about we give LR Piccolo a Super Attack? I mean, how often how often do I use LR Piccolo, right? What's funny is my LR Piccolo, he, I do have him full level 10 links. Like, I'm ready when the boy is going to get his easy A. But, I mean, they still, to this point, have not ever easy A'd a World Tournament unit. Um, I, I have to imagine it is going to come eventually. I mean, because if they easy every other unit in the game outside of World Tournament units, eventually these World Tournament units are just going to be complete fodder, right? And they're just going to be, like, nowhere near useful. Um, all right, Turles, do not transform. Haha, <laughs> all right. Well, it's fine, I guess. We'll, we'll see Gohan without support on this rotation, I guess. Whatever. It, it, it's fine. Um, the main reason I wanted to, to run Gohan on this team, however, is this. Um, Gohan is, like, actually qualifies as, like, a best friend for this guy right here. Now, if you guys are not aware, this is the best villain in the game currently. This guy. Him. This. On screen, that's the best villain in the game. Uh, STR Broly. He shares 
Fierce Battle, Saiyan Lineage, and Saiyan Warrior Race with Gohan. And Gohan is giving him 3 key and 58% defense. This, this is a devastating rotation. This works really well. So the fact that Gohan is... This is why these characters, dude... Every single character that comes out, I'm like, yeah, they're good. But, you know, if only they gave key, though. If only they rainbow orb changed, though. Well, they just gave us a couple of those characters. GT Goku, GT Vegeta, and now this Gohan. And you guys are going to see that, like, these units are now so good, you're running them on every single team. Um, Gohan up to 200k defense, of course, because his stacking is ultra-powerful. All right, let's see how much damage Gohan does right here. Um, 2.59. That's no support. Um, no Heavenly Event category ally, but he was in slot one, right? So again, like Gohan, Gohan right there, his damage sucked. Like flat out his damage was horrible right there. But he was stacking defense. He had the stun chance. He's supporting the best, you know, villain in the game, right? Like he, Gohan is, is good. He is doing a lot besides his low damage numbers, um, without like uh, some of these perfect rotations because remember Gohan gets 158% attack on super So his damage really shoots up with support type units around on that last rotation We didn't have a support. Um, all right, so this was Gohan on planetary destruction slash movie boss Let's keep going. Let's look at him on a couple of other teams all right, now I'm on the Goku family team, and this is going to be a funny little rotation right here. So, uh, we're rocking the SSR on rotation. Wow, damn. 222k right out the gate. We're on a full 100... Okay, so we're on the Goku family team. This is a full 150% uh, like lead that we're running on, you know, GT Goku's Goku family team. Gohan, turn one, 222k... Well, he does have all in the family, active, sane lineage, and innocence. Man, he works well with the fan. Dude, this Gohan is sick. I feel like a lot of people are just underestimating him, underrating him, not really realizing how he works so well with so many of these powerful units. B Pan is a character that I see people, like, they just don't understand how good B Pan is, man. And it's like, Gohan is just working really well with a lot of these characters. Now, Again, I, I did go crazy, and I, I rainbowed Gohan's SSR as well. Um, his SSR is pretty solid. But it, 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 this is a situation like LR Super Android 17, and then AGL, uh, EZA Super Android 17, how even though they don't link together, they have the same name, they still help each other a lot because of the way LR Super 17 is built. Same thing with Gohan right here, where that is going to activate Gohan's uh, heavenly events like part of his passive, right? So, let's go ahead and see how much damage we do right here. Um, again, we have a Heavenly Events character right here. Uh, you know, B-Pan activates a few links. Um, the Gohan at the end is giving key and defense. That's one reason we're over 200k defense turn one. All right, let's go ahead and see how much damage we get from Gohan right here. Goku family team, Heavenly Events category character. Uh, no Piccolo or Krillin on the team, so we are not going to be doing the unit super attack. 3.12. So, again, I, I feel like... A lot of teams we're going to be running, you could see Gohan sort of in that, like, 3 million range. Um, I, I, I think 3 million is probably most commonly where he's going to sort of sit down and, and chill at, is in the 3 million range. Um, I mean, we, you certainly, um, we could, like, max him out and stuff like that very easily, but it, for the most part, like, he is very reliant on his damage. For two things that are just going to take your team down a notch, right? Like, putting a Heavenly Events category ally in the same turn is probably going to, like, you know, decrease the consistency of your team. Um, and then, you know, Piccolo and Krillin just aren't on most of uh, Gohan's category teams, right? It, it's just it makes Gohan on his own team much better, right? That's the main thing. Um, okay, so we have LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. We have three links with him. We have Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, and Gaze of Respect. Um, so, like, being able to activate Gaze of Respect is good. 229k defense. We do not have a Heavenly Events category character right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop B Pan's active skill. Again, it's it's one of these things, man. Like, we're going to be kind of bouncing around. Sometimes you have a Heavenly Events category ally. 
you know, sometimes maybe, you know, uh, like the enemy is not going to attack right away, so you can't even get that first hit. You know, instances like that are going to happen, but this is a pretty powerful rotation. This AGL Gohan is giving a lot of key um, and defense to LR Tech Gohan and B Pan. I think this Samasu, I think he lowers attack on this, so we want to understand that Gohan's attack is lowered. No, it's not. Okay. Samasu can do two different super attacks. One of them lowers attack. 2.53. Yeah, the damage is not the craziest. I mean, that's with B Pan's active skill. 2.53. I mean, we have a couple of his links active. His damage is good. Nearly 7 million. Uh, the, the thing about this Gohan is his damage is very free and easy because he gets the extra key uh, for orb. Allows his damage, again, to be very free and easy, right? Um, yeah, man, the damage, the damage by this Gohan, it's just not there unless we're gonna go full, like, heavenly, like, like, if we go into the heavenly events category team, his damage is gonna be much better, but, you know, when we're kind of running, like, no supports on some of these other teams, he's just not, like, exploding off the screen, like, he's doing a lot, sacking defense, supporting the rest of the team, um, but his damage numbers are low, for sure. All right, so now we're over here on the uh, bond. I, I built a specific bond of master and disciple team. That That's sort of the build that we're going with right here. Um, I, I think this Gohan sort of as the lead, he's going to make this team like really legit, right? Because again, he's giving three key 58% defense to the entire rotation. Look at future Gohan at 200k defense right there. That's impressive. I mean, this is... <laughs> It is quite a good rotation for him, right? And we have most of his links active. I got to get this guy link leveled. Yeah, he's got everything active except for... <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, now, future Gohan is probably Gohan's best linking partner. I, I would assume. I'd have to look into a little bit deeper, but at least one of them is future Gohan. Um, so we're getting, what, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle along with Gohan, right? Gohan is also a Bond of Master and Disciple support type unit. So he is supporting Gohan, and Gohan is getting 40% from the Hybrid Saiyan Trunks at the end right there. And remember, even though I am running a Bond of Master and Disciple team, uh, Gohan is giving 170% to the Heavenly Events category allies on the team. So even though this is Bond of Master and Disciple, which Gohan is 150% for, uh, Gohan himself is getting 170% since he's on Heavenly Events. All right. 233k defense uh, immediately like if we were able to go into like super agl super battle extreme super battle with this setup gohan would be taking double digit damage turn one before he even starts stacking and stuff like that but you know obviously it depends on you know the leader skills you could run units around you stuff like that all right let's go ahead and see what damage gohan's gonna do future gohan his his defense impressed me right there i need to get him to link level 10 and test him out 4.41 is the damage we get. That's a lot of support, dude. 4.41. Uh, see, Gohan's damage numbers, it's just, they outright suck. I, I, I'm sorry to say it. You know, Gohan's damage numbers are just not that good. Um, it's, he's relying way too much on support and a heavenly events category character. It, it, it's just way too much. What does he have with Vegeta? Only Fierce Battle. Okay, because remember, Vegeta's the best unit on this team. Um, but Gohan is still helping Vegeta out quite a bit. Again, with the, you know, the defense and key aspect, right? So that is good. Um, any any help you can get for Evolution Blue Vegeta is huge for this team. Or for any team, right? Like, that's, that's what can make, like, you know, the GT Super Saiyan Vegeta look more impressive. Because that... I don't know. I mean... During this rainbow video, I'm I'm starting to wonder if the GT Goku and Vegeta are actually better than this Gohan. Hmm, I need to I, I need to take him on the full world tour. I've got I I need to start going into um, Super Battle Road GT Legendary Goku event God event with this Gohan. I feel like the GT Goku and Vegeta might be better actually it's just gohan's damage is really bad um by today's standards like people are gonna go oh so a four billion attack sack is bad nowadays uh yeah if it's a unit that came out yesterday it is actually buddy sure is <laughs> you know goku can very casually goku can very casually do seven million turn one 
the GT Dokkan Fest Goku very casually, okay? So, like, Gohan getting 4 million with, like, all of his links active and Heavenly Events category ally and all this shit is not really that impressive, dude. Um... Uh, and then the other thing, too, is, like, when it comes specifically to his damage, like, you can't really max his links out, right? Like, I, I would do this to max his links out. We'd get Gaze of Respect active with this Piccolo, but and we're not going to be able to. Um, all right, so Gohan transforms, so he's no longer supporting and all that stuff. Um, we have All in the Family and Fierce Battle equipped. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we're going to do right here. This is actually, I feel like, not that impressive of a rotation. But, I mean, Gohan is over 300k defense already. Gohan is just... He's a defensive support type unit. It, like, that's it. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There's a lot to unpack right there. Number one, a rainbow Gohan did under 2 million for an attack set right there, which is very bad. Um, but he died. Hey, okay, okay. Th that Piccolo at the end is also not Heavenly Events. So there was no Heavenly Events category ally on the team. My Gohan has three dodge. That three dodge just caused us to miss out on the attack buff. So I guess there's an argument against three dodge is it just caused me to miss Gohan getting the attack buff right there. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, But yeah, uh, absolutely... 100,000 million zillion percent. The brand new Dokkan Fest should not have any scenario in which he can get under a 2 million attack stat. Um, now, there, he was getting no attack support. There was no Heavenly Events category ally. And he dodged, so he didn't get hit in slot one either. But y you guys should understand what I'm saying here. Let's go on as good. But after the Rainbow Showcase, I'm actually ready to move him down. So I would go, I probably, as of right now, it seems like at the end of this rainbow video, I'm going Videl 1, GT Vegeta 2, GT Goku 3, then probably Gohan 4, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta 5. It's probably how I'm feeling. This Gohan is incredible. You're going to run him on all these teams for sure, but his damage is not that impressive, right? Because you have to understand when, when you're running this Gohan, you're not running his shitty team. You're not doing that, right? You're running Goku Family. You're running Hybrid Saiyan. On these teams, you're probably not going to have Heavenly Events Category Ally. You're probably not going to have a Piccolo or Krillin to get the unit super attack, so. Ay, 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 ay Gohan. Come on, bruh. All right, so now we're on the Hybrid Saiyan slash Savior team. Um, I guess uh, th this is where this guy is really, 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 really coming in clutch. Uh, this Krillin. Again, I've, I've gone on and on and on about how good he is, right, for the past couple months. Yet again, another scenario where Krillin is actually helping things out quite a bit, right? Because Krillin is on the Savior category team, we can run him on Hybrid Saiyans. You know, tech all the, again, I, I've said the Savior by itself is not the greatest category team, but as a, a supplement to Hybrid Saiyans, it works very well, right? Because now we can sort of max Gohan out. Gohan in this video so far has looked very unimpressive, so I, I really in this last run would like to try and max him out. This Gotenks is huge for that, because he links fairly well with Gohan, um, and then he gives some massive support type buff, and he's also a Heavenly Events category ally. Support type buff if there's multiple enemies, of course. Alright, so Gohan 220k defense right away. Um, let's see the numbers that Gohan is going to put up for us. What links do we have? All in the family... Innocence and what's the last one? Saiyan lineage. Okay, yeah. Uh, remember, Gohan is a character who will be helped out by Link level ten quite a bit. Just from Saiyan, li Saiyan lineage is one of those links you want to get to ten. Three point five four. See, dude, it's just that's not good enough. That's not good, like at all. That's just not good. Again, I know people are gonna like, like I, I see the re like my reactions to attack stats, and people say, well. Well, I think 3.5 million is good because my LR Physical Gogeta does that. It's like, that's cool. LR Physical Gogeta came out in January of 2018. This Gohan came out in May of 2021. It's a bit of a difference, right? Like, that's the thing. You know, to, to blow me away, maybe... Wowee! I need Gohan to be doing 6 million super effective against all types. Double 4 million attacks. That's like, if you're going to compare... Let's compare Gohan to Videl. 
Gohan turn one with a lot of support, a decent rotation to 3.54, right? Videl, very casually turn one, is going to do two guaranteed super attacks at 4 million. And depending upon if she gets hit or she dodges, it could go even, the damage could go up. And she could gain super effective against all types as well. So it's just uh, like, it's tough. Um, but again, Gohan has got the support buff. Gohan is giving a lot to allies, which is helpful. Um, okay, so yeah, with this Gotenks, we would get Innocent, Sane Lineage, and Fierce Battle, along with, you know, um, his support, which is good. The only problem is that Bujin actually could seal us right here, so I, I certainly hope he does not do that. Um, as long as Bujin does not seal us, this should be a good attack stat for Gohan. Because remember, Gotenks is Heavenly Events category as well. Six... Okay, yeah, that's a huge leap, right? Okay, so... Yeah, okay, okay. That's... I, I'm so glad that, like, we got this right here. And then there is 6.74 again. So, that right there... This STR Gotenks, if you're fighting multiple enemies... Again, he links up well with Gohan. He is a Heavenly Events category ally. And he's giving the support. So, like, that STR Gotenks is really in the right situation, going to bring out the max power for Gohan, right? But it's so specific. When you're running this Gohan, you're not going to be getting that, right? Like, you're not going to be like, okay, very conveniently, we're fighting a bunch of enemies, and I've got this, like, you know, he's in slot one, and he's going to get hit, and we got a Heavenly Events category ally, like, Oh, oh, we have Krillin and Piccolo on the team. Like, there's just so much that goes into Gohan getting those attack stats that, I, like, that's rare. That's rare to see Gohan hit those high numbers. But it's like, I, I say all this. I have been sort of negative in this video about him, but I do love the design of the unit. He's a monster stacking defense unit. He's got the stun chance. He has the key and defensive support. Then in the right situations with the right team build uh, on the right team and stuff like that, Gohan can do massive monster damage. Oh, this sucks. I kind of... yeah, But, but here's, here's another issue about Gohan, right? You can run him in slot one all day, but sometimes the enemy will just say, nah, right? Like, I would love to get that 58%, extra 58% right there, but, you know, uh, they're not attacking right away. Um, I mean, Gohan does get his attack buff on super attack anyway, so it's not like... B pan like like the AGL 50% support pan is definitely giving Gohan more damage than LRB pan would anyway. But again, I, I I say this all the time, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, that uh, LRB pan is beyond good enough to run um, in these events nowadays for sure. Um, all right, well I'll do like two more rotations I think. So there's Gohan 5.84. Again, with Gotenks getting that support type ability, look at the, the extra damage. We have B-Pan's active skill right there. That's even without Gohan getting hit at the start. So he he actually might have had a higher rotation, like damage number right there um, than we got with 50% uh, support Pan. Like, Gohan can do good damage numbers. Once you start talking about Gohan, like if Gohan was consistently doing 6 million, he would be better than Videl, I think. Because, like... The way he helps the team not hurts it compared to Videl. Like, Videl hurts the team, right? Like, she her links suck. Uh, she's barely on category teams, right? And, again, she's... It's just she's just so... Like, herself, she's so overpowered. She's just sitting there doing everything herself, right? Whereas Gohan is very positively impacting the team and helping the team out quite a bit, right? That's very important to uh, to sort of understand and talk about uh, with this Gohan compared to, like, Videl. And it's the same thing with GT Super Saiyan Goku, GT Super Saiyan Vegeta, where not only are they great themselves, but they're really positively impacting the team in a massive manner um, because of the fact that they're doing the rainbow orb changing, which is super, super good, right? So, all right, let, let me see what the damage is. So, now we're still going to be linked up with Gotenks right here. But, the okay, what, well, yeah, again, I mean, if the, if the enemy just decides to not attack Gohan in slot one, like, what are you going to do, right? Nothing I can do right there. 
Uh, Krillin is supporting. This is a Heavenly Events category ally, but w again, we're not we're not getting hit right here at the start. So let's see what damage Gohan does right here. 4.17. So no matter what, it, it does seem like the, the the main factor for like his damage shooting huge up is just the Heavenly Events category ally on the team. Like when you've got that Heavenly Events character with him. That's where his damage goes way up. Again, we could have gotten extra damage um, if Bojack had attacked at the start, but he did not. Remember, Gotenks was not supporting on that rotation because there was only one enemy. So, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think of this Gohan, man. Um, I think Gohan is very, very good. Um, but I don't... I. He's like really OP, but balanced at the same time, I feel like is how to say it. Because in order to activate his crazy damage, you have to really, like, sort of neuter your team, right? By getting either, you know, probably a shitty Piccolo or a shitty Krillin on their Heavenly Events category ally or something like that. Maybe when that Piccolo and Krillin, like, unit gets a Dokkan Awakening, which I assume is going to happen, right? There's that SSR, STR, free-to-play Piccolo. When he gets his awakening or whatever, maybe then we're going to be a little bit better off, right? Um, because after he gets that awakening, he's probably going to be a Piccolo and Krillin card. We'll see what category teams are on and stuff like that, right? Could be good for Gohan. Um, but right now, I mean, in order for Gohan to be doing this consistent good damage, we need more characters to release to help Gohan. No matter what, Gohan is good. No matter what, he's going to help and positively impact a lot of the category teams he's on. It's a 550k defense, by the way. Um, but just damage-wise, he does not compete with a lot of the more recent units. It, he's, he's got a lot of similarities to Tech Ultimate Gohan, honestly. Uh, like, like they're, they're, they're sort of similar units in certain aspects, right? Because it's like, you know, Tech Ultimate Gohan in the right situation can be super effective against all types and if you stacked up his damage for 10 turns uh, ultimate gohan could be doing good damage but a lot of the times i feel like tech ultimate gohan his damage is not like what you're using him for all right what is gohan's attack set right here 5.65 that's with 50 percent support from pan um and then gotenks heavenly events category ally but again he's not supporting um because uh there's only one enemy so hmm we'll finish up here uh let me know what you guys think of this gohan uh, I, if there was like a way better heavenly events category character to always run with this gohan uh, that was like a hybrid saiyan i know people would say like agl lr gohan yeah sure like he's really good but i think i would go videl gt goku and vegeta and then gohan 4 right now um, but let's see, once I take Gohan on the full world tour, we go through all the difficult content and stuff like that, and we'll we'll see how Gohan is going to look. Gohan is very, very good, and he is contributing heavily to the team, right? I, I really cannot emphasize that enough. <clears throat> Just by slapping that three key and 58% defensive ability on him at the end right there, they're really giving him a lot of extra sort of like aging. Right, and they're making him very good on a lot of these category teams. So, let me know what you guys think of Gohan Rainbowed. Again, like level 5 links or so. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.